Hi everyone, welcome to the RPP Resonance Chemistry. Now let us continue our lectures on basic named reactions which are helpful for the IIT JE mains and NEET aspirants as well as basic learners of uh, GATE and CSR NET aspirants. Okay, now let us go through the basic named reactions. So today we are going to deal with uh, like Arendt Eisenstadt reaction. Arendt Eisenstadt reaction. This is very easier reaction and simple reaction. Let's move on to the topic. So Arendt Eisenstadt reaction. So uh, this reaction consists uh, increasing the carbon chain by one methylene group uh, by one methylene group in carboxylic acid. Simple reaction. This reaction consists. To increasing the increasing the carbon chain by one methylene group one methylene group in carboxylic acids in carboxylic acids this is called Arendt Eisenstadt reaction this is called Arendt Eisenstadt I start reaction. Simple representation of reaction is like this. So this is the carboxylic acid. We know that this is the carboxylic acid. So which is treated with uh, some reagents which can convert into like a, a one number excess of carboxylic acid. Now here the number of carbons R plus carbon that is uh, let us assume here uh, N is equal to 2. So if R is equal to 1, N is equal to 2. Now here R is equal to 1, 1 plus 1 plus 1, N is equal to 3. So that means that the number of carbon atoms increases in the case of in the product side in the product side so the increasing the carbon chain by the one methylene group ch2 group is called as methylene so by the one methylene group in carboxylic acid that is called as arendt eisenstadt reaction arendt eisenstadt reaction this is very helpful method to increasing the carbon chain in like a bio biological active molecules okay now let's move on to the uh, like a reaction here these reaction which contain which consists of three steps now let us discuss the each and every step now here first of all carboxylic acid so carboxylic acid very reactive so that's why it cannot directly cannot use the product so that's why which can convert into carboxylic uh, like chlorides acid chlorides then only it is possible so then only it is reacted okay now here SOCl2 or POCl3 such type of reagents are used but but this method which uh, are uh, generally used the thionyl chloride so which can convert into RCOCl so that is acid chloride so this is the acid acid chloride okay now in the second step uh, acid chloride treated with diazomethane treated with diazomethane okay so simply nitrogen nitrogen as a compound so, so it simply it is a diazo which consists of a uh, methane that means a ch4 is methane one, uh, two hydrogens which is replaced by the two nitrogen atom then it is called as a methane derivative so diazo methane simply it is called as diazo methane so now here we used uh, two moles of diazo methane that is excess of diazo methane are used now it is eliminated like a methyl chloride followed by the n2 it gives the rco chn2 so this is a diazard derivative of the key like a diazard derivatives okay furtherly it is used by the silver oxide ag2o it is used by the silver oxide this is the catalyst some sometimes uh, instead of these catalysts uh, like a colloidal silver colloidal copper colloidal uh, pl uh, palladium those type of materials are used platinum not the palladium those type of materials are also used okay now which can, which can convert into r ch double bond c double bond o that is called ketene that is called uh, a ketene so ketene furtherly treated with water which gives r ch2 coh r ch2 coh this reaction consists of these these uh, three steps these three steps now the first step is so the conversion of uh, acid to acid chloride i think it is clear so the first step is carboxylic acid which can convert into carboxylic as, uh, like a uh, acyl chloride acid chlorides okay first step which contains like uh, the conversion of carboxylic acid into uh, like uh, acid chlorides now in the second step here the excess of uh, diazomethane that means two moles uh, 2.1 equivalents of uh, diazomethane are used uh, so which gives the rcohn2 the type of uh, diazo derivatives okay so the followed by the the third step uh, the followed by the like a uh, 
simply silver oxide simple silver oxide it gives the ketene so ketene further hydrolysis will, will gives the like a uh, derivative so that is that means the one carbon one methylene group increased carboxylic acid one methylene group increased carboxylic acid okay this is acid chloride like a diaja ketone ketone not the ketene diaja ketone ketene like a carboxylic acid one one carbon number is excess now the some some doubts are arise why uh, here use the two moles of uh, ch2n2 so each and every case we use this normal moles but exceptionally why are used uh, so here two moles of uh, diazomethane so now let's move on to the reaction so this is the rcocl why it is used so ch2n2 that means uh, here ch2 double bond n double bond here it is the positive here it is the negative here it is the positive, here it is the negative. This is the like a diazomethane structure. So, first of all, so one of the hydrogen from diazomethane and the chlorine is eliminated. So, that means uh, HCl is liberated or CO like a CH. One of the hydrogen is eliminated, CHN2 is left over. CHN2 is left over. Now, HCl is liberated. So, what is liberated? HCl. HCl is liberated. Those liberated HCl consumed by the another mole. So those liberated HCl consumed by the CH2N2, now here it is converted as CH3Cl plus N2. It is eliminated as methyl chloride as well as nitrogen. Methyl chloride as well as nitrogen. So that's why here the liberated HCl consumed by the excess of diazomethane. That's why we use the excess of diazomethane. This is the point, excess of diazomethane. Okay, so this is the major point. Now let's move on to the another another exceptional point here H2O instead of H2O we used the alcohols or am ammonias or amides okay or amines not the amides okay so instead of alcohols instead of water we used the alcohol we will get the esters we used the ammonia we will get the amides we will use the like amines we will get the substituted amides okay now let's move on to the, those those points so this is the first exception now the let's move on to the instead of uh, water what will happen okay now here it is the compound r ch double bond so simply here it is the compound r c double bond o ch n2 so which is treated with the ag2o this is the catalyst now we use the like a r dash oh so that that is called like it is a simply alcohol it is simple alcohol now we use the alcohol what will happen now we use the alcohol here it will use the rch2co or dash rch2co or dash so here it converts into carboxylic acid whenever alcohols are used the water is eliminated and it gives the carbox like a corresponding esters so then we use the ammonia so now we will get the RCH2CO in H2 amide. So this is amide, this is ester. Now the finally, so instead of ammonia, we use the like a amines that is a, a like a methylamine, ethylamine, whatever it may be. So now we will get the substituted amide, substituted amides. So this is a substituted. amides okay so this is the overall picture about a uh, arantacentate reaction this reaction consists of increasing the carbon chain by the way one methylene group in carboxylic acid that is called arantacentate reaction so mainly it, it it follows three steps first one is acid chloride conversion second one is diazomethane use now the third one is uh, like a catalyst followed by the hydrolysis reaction followed by the hydrolysis reaction so instead of water we use the like alcohol ammonia like uh, amines we will get the esters amides uh, as well as uh, substituted amides respectively okay now let's move on to the mechanism i think it is very clear so if there is any doubts mentioned in the comment box i'll explain in the next video so now let's move on to the mechanism Okay, now let's move on to the mechanism. Mechanism of Arantisentate reaction. Mechanism of Arantisentate reaction. So this is very important thing. So which is given in previous year, JE advanced. Okay, now let's move on to the mechanism. 
so this is the ch2 double bond n double bond n so here the more number of uh, uh, like bonds that means here positive charge here it is the normal normal lone pairs so another lone pair that is the deficient that means uh, here it is the like a negative charge and the negative charge which contains the two pair of electrons if it is uh, maybe represented or not sometimes okay now this is the like a structure of diazomethane ch2 n2 okay now the bonded two electrons will shift it towards the like adjacent atom now it creates the ch2 minus ch2 minus nitrogen triple bond nitrogen here only one lone pair it retains their positive charge this is the resonance structure of diazomethane this is the resonance structure of diazomethane now let's move on to the diazomethane will treat it with uh, our acid chloride this is the main step so the conversion of acid chloride is a easier step if it is possible we will explain the another videos okay now here which treated with a ch2 minus so this is the n2 plus okay this is this sh short form of the diazomethane ch2 minus will treat it with a uh, like uh, RCOCl, this is the negative charge that means it is a nucleophile which is treated with uh, electrophilic center only. Why? Why? Because here it is the carbon which contains more electronegativity atom, that's why it is more electro electrophilic in nature. Okay, then uh, here the already four bonds is there, that's why the more number of bondings now the bonded two electrons, the weaker bonded two electrons will shift it towards the more more uh, more electronegativity atom side. Okay, now RCO minus, here it is the Cl, I'll write the those Cl uh, like bottom part, now here it is a CH2 like N2 plus, now I, I'll write the one of the hydrogen over here, okay, the negative charge will attack over there, so now the bonded two electron will shift it towards the oxygen atom and it, get, it gets the like negative charge, okay, now again on retaining the, these uh, minus electron, that means the O minus, now here one of the leaving group is eliminated that means uh, cl minus is eliminated cl minus whenever it leaves to the like as a cl minus and uh, meanwhile it obstructs the proton and it is eliminated as hcl and it is eliminated as hcl okay now whenever here it is the cl minus cl minus will obstruct the proton it will obstruct the proton now the bonded two electrons will shift it towards the carbon atom and it creates the or C double bond O CH minus N2 plus like simply it is N triple bond N plus N triple bond N plus okay so this is the one of the intermediate now again which is treated with a, like a, which is a rearranged like a Tata Tomerizo or CO minus double bond CH N triple bond N plus N triple bond N plus whenever the O minus uh, again it uh, like a tautomerized now here it gets the two electrons on the loss of N2 on the loss of N2 so this is the R C double bond O CH here it is the pair of electrons whenever it it uh, comes to the the pair of electrons comes to the CH then it becomes a C double bond C two electrons that is called as a carbene intermediate acyl carbene intermediate this is the acyl carbene intermediate with the help of loss of n2 with the loss of n2 here uh, it is liberated by the hcl those liberated hcl can convert into methyl chloride and nitrogen gas with the help of uh, additional mole of uh, diazomethane additional mole of diazomethane now here it creates the carbene acyl carbene intermediate acyl carbene intermediate now here the ball, like a pair of electrons will shift it towards the carbon atom now r group is migrated towards the carbon now it forms the r ch double bond c double bond o okay now here r ch here it creates the double bond ch double bond c double bond o this is called ketene this is called ketene now in the presence of ag2o okay so after getting the like ketene in the presence of water in the presence of water that contains uh, like a OH2 there are it may be H3O plus whatever it may be so the pair of electrons uh, will attack over the electrophilic center then it becomes uh, O minus uh, O minus again return back to the carbon atom and it creates the negative charge on the adjacent atom now it gets uh, RCH minus C double bond O OHH H plus okay so the negative charge will obstruct the proton and it creates the neutral now it becomes RCH2 like a C double bond O OH originally it having the H3O plus so another mole of water molecule will produce the DH plus not the like same molecule that is the original mechanism okay so this is the simple mechanism okay this is the first intermediate 
now this is the second intermediate this is the third intermediate okay these are the three intermediates but originally these are uh, these type of carbon in acyl carbon intermediate we cannot obtain in the like reaction mechanism we use the like some uh, like uh, some uh, rb so this is the reaction condition this is the reaction condition whenever these reaction uh, kept on the like a magnetic stirrer so we cannot isolate these intermediate we cannot isolate these intermediate those uh, like uh, the elimination of a nitrogen and the uh, alkyl group migration like as uh, elimination of nitrogen and alkyl group migration both are takes place simultaneously both are takes place simultaneously that's why this step cannot uh, cannot obtain cannot obtain in the general reaction cannot obtain in the general reaction this is the like a simple mechanism i think it is very helpful for you so can you note down this is a simple mechanism okay again one drawback is there drawback so absence of a catalyst absence of catalyst now here without absence of catalyst uh, these uh, like intermediate like a carbene intermediate so acyl carbene intermediate uh, or c double bond o ch intermediate will act as a carbocation it act as a carbocation carbocation and in the presence of nucleophile it can converts into r c double bond o ch2 oh this is the alcohol type manner alcohol type manner so these type of products are obtained in the absence of a catalyst that's why must and should we use the like ag2o here ag2o that is the catalyst or sometimes we use the like a colloidal silver colloidal copper colloidal platinum or sometimes we use the like heating also heat is also used this is the overall reaction this is the overall reaction now acyl carbene intermediates to ketene conversion we know that this is the wolf rearrangement so acyl carbene to acyl carbene to like a ketene so this is the wolf rearrangement it is already known wolf rearrangement wolf rearrangement this is the overall re uh, like a reaction mechanism of arentisentrate reaction now let's move on to the some of the examples regarding to the arentisentrate reaction Okay, now let's move on to the some of the examples. So the first example. So this is the like a naphthoic acid, simply which is treated with first of all is the SOCl2 first step, second step diazomethane. Now the third step are like Ag2O followed by the water, followed by the water. So this will give us the like one number one number of uh, more methylene containing carboxylic acid one number of more methylene containing carboxylic acid sometimes uh, the aromatic uh, like uh, these type of uh, NO2 groups are also unaffected so this is the like a uh, orthonitrobenzoic acid which is treated with the same reagents now we will get the same type of product the same treatment will use the like, same type of product CH2COOH sometimes uh, alkenes are also unaffected alkenes are also unaffected so in presence of a COCl that is the acid chloride so that means uh, why because here already it is converted into acid chloride now we use it only like excess of CH2N2 that is the diazomethane the followed by the catalyst uh, and followed by the hydrolysis reaction followed by the hydrolysis so we'll use the, this type of a product we'll use this type of uh, like sorry CH2 COOH what will happen so here carboxylic acid which can convert into homologous that increasing the one number of carbon containing homologous series that means here it new carbon is introduced the new carbon is introduced now the fourth one so here in presence of like a heterocyclic compounds the R group may be aliphatic aromatic or allylic or whatever it may be heterocyclic compounds are also used in the like aromatization reaction so the same reaction that is the like SOCl2 this is the first step second step is a diazomethane followed by the like a catalyst under water it will use this type of a product okay ch2 co not only these type of product some of the 
homoveratroyl chlorides are also synthesized by the help of uh, Arendt Eisentrath mechanism. So this is the final example. So homoeratroyl. So O methyl, O methyl. So this is the like COOH, which is treated with the same reagents uh, SOCl2, CH2N2, followed by the like Ag2O, and final step is water, so which can convert into like a O methyl, O methyl. CH2 COOH again, which is treated with the SOCl2. Now we will get the like homoveratrile chloride CH2 COCl homoveratrile chloride homoveratrile chloride. So this is the like best form for okay. Now these are the uh, some of the like uh, Arendt-Eisentrath reaction examples. Okay, that's all for this video. In this video, we are discussed about um like a complete reaction and their uh, drawbacks as well as uh, exceptional points. Now and uh, complete mechanism of the Arendt-Eisentrath reaction with uh, many of the solved problems. Okay, that's all for this video. Thank you so much for watching.